Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's speed build, I have a Belleville set. Set 5862, the Flower Fairy Party from 2003. So stick around to the end to hear my review, and let's get started. So here we have the completed build. This set is just over 150 pieces and comes with two figures. And this set is particularly special to me because it's one of the very first Belleville sets I ever got as a kid. The very first one I got was from this particular sub-theme of Belleville, the fairy tale sub-theme. And what my mom would do, and still does, is take a small set and break it down into 24 days and then it's like a little advent calendar. So she took the, one of the smaller sets from this theme and did that for my advent calendar this year for 2003. And then on Christmas morning, I got the remainder of the sets from this theme under the tree from Santa. So this sub theme of fairy tale Belleville was the very first sets I got as a kid and what instigated the madness and obsession that it is today. So I do really love these. There's even a little bit of dust left over from all the years of play from these sets. So I thought I would do this one because I've gotten a lot of people requesting Belleville sets lately. And while I don't know that they are all legitimate requests, I felt I should go ahead and do one just to go ahead and give people who are asking for it a Belleville set. And I do. I love this set. It's a great set. It's got amazing pieces, a lot of which are rare and exclusive to either this set or this sub-theme of Fairy Tale Belleville. So I'll go ahead and show you the figures first, since those are everyone's favorites. Comes with two fairies. I played with this set for so long. As far as Belleville goes, I think these are some of the least creepy looking figures. This one was always a favorite of mine. And I do love the crowns that come in this set. They're also used in just some regular sets as well, so a really cool piece there. All right, so starting on the edge here, we have this really cute little mailbox. And I was just looking up about this mailbox. I had never seen it in any other set, but apparently there was some kind of Disney theme from the year 2000, and there's a Minnie Mouse set and a Mickey Mouse set that also contains this piece. They look like some sort of junior line. I have no memory of those sets, so I think I would have probably been a little bit too old for them at that point, but kind of a rare piece there, and it does open so that you can put mail inside. There are a lot of foam pieces that come in this set, so the leaves are made of foam, and then this little pouch piece is also made of foam. If you open it up, it just has a little jewel inside. I do remember as a kid, at some point I cut one of the leaves. I don't remember what purpose I thought that was necessary to do, but as an adult, once I got on BrickLink, I bought an extra sheet of all of these foam pieces to replace since I had cut one of them. Again, I have no idea what I was thinking when I did that. Really cool little foam pieces. There's also one that goes around 
this little cupcake looking muffin piece. That has always been a favorite piece of mine. I believe it's exclusive only to Belleville sets. It would be great in any kind of mock you're doing for regular size minifigures because it could look like a little birthday cake or something like that. Here on the table there are these bright green arches underneath holding the table up and those are only found in this set and two other sets that are in the fairy tale Belleville sub theme from this year. So 2003 to 2004 only from around this era just in these sets but they're really pretty and if you were looking for you know, a different colored arch that might be something to look at. Also comes with these great translucent green goblets, which are always a favorite piece of mine. This little section, so a little stove, which is super cute. It comes with this little pan and a little pancake inside, which is just a tile. And I can't remember if this is light orange or medium orange, but either way, a rare piece. It's not an expensive piece though, so if you're looking to do you know, a little pancake house or something like that, you might look for these tiles. Also in this little build, we have the tiny translucent clear head that has a strawberry print on it, which I think is so cute. And I believe it is only in Belleville sets. But again, this would look great in any kind of mock you're doing because the strawberries look normal size. They don't look the size that would be used for the larger Belleville figures. One of my favorite pieces. Also comes with this great little book, which is exclusive to this set. Super cute. I love that it is not stickers. This is a printed book, and those are always better. The sticker pieces for the books don't seem to hold up too well because you're opening and shutting so much. It tends to wear them down a little bit faster. Other end, we have a little bed with a little canopy using another leaf piece. A great little fabric pouch. I loved this as a kid. I thought that was so cool anytime there were fabric pieces included. Another really great piece they have is this mushroom piece. So this is a 4x4 four four mushroom piece and there are a lot of the 2x2 two two mushroom pieces used in a variety of sets but this is the only set a 4x4 four four mushroom top piece is used so that would definitely be a cool thing to add to a nature related mock. This is one of my favorite features which is this really cool snail. Totally different than anything else I've ever seen Lego produce. The shell does open up so you can store things inside which I think is cool. So this particular design for the snail is only in this set and then there's a second one that's in a different set from this sub theme of Belleville. So I believe only those two sets. So a rare piece there and really cool, very unique. I've never seen anything like this. I think it's really awesome. For the tower, these blue bar pieces, which are just like curved railing pieces, those are a more rare color there in medium blue. I'm trying to remember if they're just in this line of Belleville or anything else. But either way, very rare, but a very nice color. These are one by two medium green, just regular bricks, but they're very rare. I think they're only in Belleville and I've gotten them a couple of times and sold them for a few dollars a piece every time I get them. So kind of a more rare brick there. A really cool little build. I love the use of the ice cream scoops as, you know, flower tops a little bit different. So this set, like I said, is right around 150 pieces. On Bricklink it says they released it twice, so once in 2003 and then again in 2004 in a slightly different colored box. And the piece count is off by one piece, so I don't know if there's actually a difference or uh, an inventory error or something like that. I didn't look into it to see which piece they think there's a difference between the two. But I know I got this set in 2003, so I assume it's the original version. I did look this set up, and currently neither the 2003 or 2004 versions have any sets for sale anywhere in the entire world on Bricklink right now. So once again, a very rare set that is very difficult to get. It does come on an amazing base plate, so you could definitely just get the base plate and build something on it because it has that great waterway running through it, which I always think is really nice. Amazing, unique pieces as always. So I know I always recommend this, but at least check out the parts list. Getting this set is gonna be a, a big challenge if you actually want the whole thing, but maybe add it to a wanted list 
and turn your alerts on in hopes that someone will upload one eventually. But a super fun set that holds a lot of nostalgia for me. So I definitely recommend checking this set out. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.